<laughs> we'll start the meeting. Um, we don't have anything on the agenda for executive. Does anyone have a need to add an executive? I don't. All right. Um, recording in progress. I, we gotta add um, discussion about. Um, we had a complaint from a citizen on something going on with filings. Right, we're doing that in open meeting, right? So we're going to amend the as an amendment yeah. to the agenda. Yep. And there was also, along with that, wasn't there a, an attorney that called in as well? Yes. Yeah. So, so I think we should. Okay. I think we should. A citizen that. slash attorney complaint. Yep. Okay, and then we also have to add the um, tire quotes for the grader. Anybody have anything else to add to the agenda? All right, do I have a motion to adopt the agenda as amended? Move to adopt as a, uh, move to adopt the agenda as amended. Second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, anything on the meeting minutes of July 19th? I didn't see anything. No? Okay. Um, town manager report. <coughs> oh, the I can't talk to my people. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Depot Hill Covered Bridge is now open. Uh, insurance adjuster for the league made a site visit on the 25th. Suggested we have a covered bridge specialist look at it. So we had a guy from Wright Construction come up on the 28th. Um, he did notice some sheared bolts where the decking had warped and a steel band that secures the decking to the steel beams had come loose. But everything's sitting on those beams so it's, it's structurally sound. Um, I think once the water gets down we're going to go and see what we can do to fix it. So, um, so there's no issues. We're able to open it. Uh, staff continues to work on submitting financials to our new auditors, um, which is RHR. Anne has been the lead on getting everything to them in a timely fashion. Um, Anne and Liz were able to prepare and send out tax bills last week, and we're already seeing money come in, so that's good. Um, we have hired a new recreation director, uh, Liz Alvarado. Uh, she's from Brandon. We'll be starting as our new rec director on August 14th. Uh, Jen's been able to work half days with her. Um, she was here today, and um, for the rest, Jen will be gone next week, but the week after she'll be back to uh, help Liz get comfortable in the position. So Jen's really excited about it. They seem to get along well today. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. I'll try to get her to a meeting here once she's here too. Um, highway's been out mowing roadsides and grading roads. Um, fortunately, our gravel roads did not have any major washouts from the recent storm activity. And uh, just another thing I, would, I wanted to add on, uh, the, they rented a crack sealing machine, so um, if you see like the black lines in the road, which I think there was another name for them at town meeting, but um, <laughs> they did Depot Hill and uh, and uh, West Creek, and Depot Hill next week is getting chip sealed too. So we did learn from oh. the, the chip seal rep that even if we like do a shim and overlay, they recommend we cra do the crack sealing too, just to keep the water out, so get more life out of the road. Yeah. It makes sense. Um, I met with Lynette Claudon at the Department of Environmental Conservation to discuss funding and grant opportunities for our water and sewer replacement projects uh, for Route 7, Segment 2, and 3. Um, I talked to her Friday. There'll be more to come. Butch and I met about it. We're looking to see what... We're trying to get ahead of the game here with how we're going to fund this project. So um, it was sort of a, you know, a, an introduction and we're going to probably have Craig from Otter Creek Engineering to join that so we can really figure out how we're going to fund this and what there is for grant options. So, if, you know, there's a there's a process if we if we need to bond, we have to go through a bond vote and um, if it's USDA, there's usually some debt forgiveness on the end, which is good. So, um, more to come with that. We've got some time, but um, I'd like to see that we have it in place. Um, Submitted all the required documents to the state for the Municipal Energy Resilience Program, otherwise known as the MERP, for the energy audits on the town office building. This building was picked as one of them that we could do that on. So um, that's really all I have tonight. Hmm. Okay. So wait, we're... I thought we had already submitted all the... Um Paperwork. So right. Ann had submitted it. We we're talking about this. She <laughs> submitted it to the RPC, and now because the state's doing it, we had to resubmit everything to them and okay. do all the point of contact and get set up with the state. So, right. yeah. When do, is there like a timeline of when we would know? No. no. Okay. After flood mitigation, probably. Yeah, yeah. So now did the bridge once it dried out went right back down? No. Did you have to push it back down, or what did you? It was pushed back down. Pushed back down. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. Yeah, and that you can see like 
there's definitely a little lip on it right now where there were some pins where it attached to like the, you know, the abutments on the road sides where it is up just a little bit so maybe dr driven over for a little bit it'll get back down but yeah, yeah we'll, we'll keep an eye on it so yeah Ann was working on a list of our assets equipment is how this how's that coming it's coming along. She's actually going to ask for some advice from our new auditors to see with the, fi the fixed assets list. Yeah. Okay. Um, just to make sure we're doing it right. So, because there's some stuff we don't have to put on it, and so we want to make sure it's just exactly perfect. Right. Okay. Yep. Does anybody else have any questions for Dave? Um, any select board member remarks? None. Okay. Any public comment? All right, uh, so old business, rec and economic development. Oh, sorry. Did you have something to say for public comment? I didn't realize anyone was on there. Who is it? Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, all right, first item of old business was rec and economic development hiring update, but I guess, I guess we already we got that. that didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we were sure of it then, so we put it on the agenda. Right. Okay. So um, the uh, request for the PUC letter. Did everybody have a chance to read what Dave wrote up? Have you guys seen it? Just now. Just, Just now. We haven't okay. Really Did you want you want this one? I, I, I'm a little disappointed in it, so we'll, we'll, okay. wait, we'll wait until we get a little further into this meeting. Okay. Anybody have any other have any thoughts about that? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so it is re Outback Acres Solar. I thought we were writing a letter just directly about the grid issue. Um, well, this is this would be to the PUC. The only th issue between before the PUC is currently is this. Okay. But I think we discussed that it was a worthy point to bring up the issue of the grid. Co correct. Yeah. But it would pertain to to the next Stara projects. Or well, pertain to any Speci project. Well, but I mean, that, I that's mean, that's why I'm asking. Why does it say the mm -hmm. Outback Solar on top of it? Because that's what's sending us over the capacity. I mean, this is these two big pr projects that are coming up is what really? triggered the yeah, like us being at less than ten percent. That brought us over the topic. I didn't realize it was that one that brought us over. It was the well, the Adams and Furnace, which is a, by the same company, but they're both really huge projects. Well, should the Adams Road one be listed there too? I guess that was. But if we're so for alerting, the, I mean, it's not like the PUC is like. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dave. It's not like they're sitting around reading letters from the towns unless there's something before. Before them. Before them, which is so this currently. So this would be what would get their attention. That maybe I took the concern wrong, but I thought that this was we were going to send the letter to DG Outback as like a complaint that uh, of the town's concern that the the grid is being. Yes. No, filled up with these projects. No, and, I thought that too because that's what we have. We have party status specifically for this. Right. I mean, that's and, what's and one of the concerns, and I think I brought up last meeting that we needed something sort of factual to grab onto. Yeah. And that's where it gets tricky with fact versus opinion, and right. so I. Yeah. Well, that's a fa that is a that, fact. That is about definitely the grid. a fact. There's no right. question. I'm just asking why that was the particular on the headline. Yeah. That's all. Yep. Rest yeah, of it. Rest of it. I, rest of it, I think you it's fine. Was under the impression it was the two. Yeah, I thought there was two things. Right. So. The but two is, projects, okay. I mean. So I guess I need to step back. So, is the Adams Road one? Is that all done, finalized? No. Or is that no. still going through the process too? That one's not even before the any well, any court process right now. It's made it as far as this one. No, so. I don't know what the hang up is, but all of a sudden that's there stopped. is one. Yeah. yeah, I thought it did. No. I don't think so. As far, we haven't as, far as I know, this that. that one that one is ground to a halt currently, as far as I am I'm aware of. Well, this one did for a while too. Yeah, this one came up and then well, it went away, and then all of a sudden it was. I here. know. <clears throat> but I mean, as far as like us, the town having any kind of like, like at, we there's no process right now with the Adams Road that we're a party to at all. Correct. We're a party to that, aren't we? 
I don't believe so. I thought we had a position. I thought we had I mean, a we, party we're, staff. Somewhere. I mean, like, I think we I'm pretty sure we did. Not, <laughs> I guess I worded that wrong. I'm saying that we don't, there's not anything active right now, like in the court, that we would. I guess we're a party to it, but like, there's no, there's no process. Current, like, there's nothing going on with that one right now. I think that's still open, though. I don't. Well, it's think still that's open. So it didn't go away. Yeah. It's yeah, just so that. Then it's we still have party status. Would I, would I be wrong, Dave? You might know well, more than that. Line. I would think we would, and I would think we want both of them listed here. That's kind of so that saying. when that one comes up, we would have a say thing. in that one too. And that's. I mean, if that's. I mean, I have no I issue mean, with I, that. Uh, I'd like to put. I'd rather do that than just. Picking on zero wins. Yeah. Both of them put us, you know, yeah. way over. Excuse me, you keep talking about both of them are putting us way over. Even before these projects came up, it's less than 10% mm -hmm. available. So it's not right. it's so not these projects are putting us over. It's just, it was even before these projects came up that it was less than 10%. Right, but we're not over yet. So that's right. the point right. is either one of these we'll puts, us, puts way over. Way over. I wouldn't call so over. I don't my know that you'd be having brownouts. Was it my understanding, Dave, and correct me if I'm wrong, was this included both of those? That's what it, I asked, yeah. It did put them over. Oh, it does include? Yeah, that was what we understood, the, right? The recent grid map that it shows here, when I talked to the person at Green Mountain Power, these two projects were already They're in included. This. Oh, they're already figured. So already it's, yeah, it's these in. two projects that are getting us at now less than ten percent. Correct. Okay. So I thought we were trying to make this letter more specific, just to the Outback Acres Solar. I guess there is some confusion amongst. And that if we had to file a motion to intervene with the other one, we would just do another letter. Well, that's what I assume too, because there's the no, no action going on with the Adams Road one yeah. right now. So I, I think, even, but I there is. I don't receive anything on that one. Yeah, I know. I haven't. In quite a while. Years I know. Like pre-COVID, right? Yeah. I don't. It's so been a long thoughts time. Thoughts are just repeated if it comes back up. Okay. Yeah. Just started like two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. 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 Three, yeah. yeah. At least two. All right. Um, I think the rest of the letter is done fine. Okay, yeah. so that's my, what I was going to say. My only concern <laughs> was what we point out. So. All right, I got gotcha. you. I know there was, um, I don't know if you want to, I know they've just seen the letter and were concerned that we didn't address aesthetics. So I don't know how anyone feels about, um, you know. In the last four meetings that we've had through the select board and the planning board, it seemed to us that it was unanimous that not only were what the unanimous that not only was the power grid part of the part of the problem was, but there was also the aesthetics problem of it being so close to the to the village and, and what it's going to do, done to the agricultural and residential areas and around. So I, mm -hmm. I thought we, they were, you were all in agreement with the, the aesthetic issue as well as what's, what has been determined in this letter. Right. And I don't see anything about the aesthetic in the letter. What was that? I can add a there. Yeah. Uh, Paragraph on that. Is that something, that, is that, something that, that you were not now? You're now that you're not in agreement with. See, that's not no, 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 no. This is this has more teeth. I mean, aesthetics I, is, I, is I, really I, subjective. Mm -hmm. This is objective. <laughs> so I think this that's. So I, I think subjective <laughs> is a good thing to stay away from. And I would agree with the fact. That personally, I don't care if anyone wants to put a solar on their land or not. I don't like the aesthetics of any of them personally. <laughs> yeah. But that is subjective. This is factual. And uh, I think we probably, as we mentioned, we should stick with the facts. Um, you could debate down the road on the other ones. Uh, agricultural soils, absolutely, I believe, are an issue. But the state seems to not really care about ag soils anymore. They've pretty much discounted that, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So a couple points right. there. I like this. I think staying with something that is factual. Got a lot of hay off that field. I noticed. I know a lot. Yeah, they did a lot. <laughs> Just first and second. <laughs> Go ahead. I thought the other factual point was that the fact that the town wasn't going to be getting any um, economic benefit of that. We explained about the the school uh, issues, the mm -hmm. taxes and stuff yep. like that. And so that's a factual issue and that is not in the letter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't get anything from any of these solar projects really. I mean, uh, it, that's I guess that's well, you, that the, you, you, get, can. you don't, there's nothing to the school. Right. Okay. But, huh? There is taxes paid. If there was a house value. there, we would be getting both. Not to the town. <laughs> well, but if there was a house there, there could be 10 kids in school, <laughs> and we'd be losing more. Yeah. So three, yeah. three houses would create more income off that than that right. solar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In 20 kids. years? Yeah. Yeah. I'll bet you. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can run those and numbers. we could mention that. It's not that the state doesn't already know that, though. Yeah, the they, set this, they set this they system up to work that way. So, I mean, if we mention it in the letter, it's, it's redundant. I mean, they 
they already know. I, I, think I don't think they care so much. Well, if it's not a concern <laughs> for the town that they're going to be not getting any money for it, I think that is an issue that should be addressed mm -hmm. in the letter. Um, it's an opportunity for the town to speak its position that perhaps there should be more economic benefit to the town. Mm -hmm. And if you're just going to let that go, then that's that's not us. That's not us. Well, that's law, right now. Well, that's, that's the way I it know. is. I mean, I mean, they, that's 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 how they've set this up, and that was done a couple of administrations ago. Yeah. And put in place. And I, honestly, I think we talked the other day. We got to. Has to be a major change in the state policy. There's mm -hmm. nothing we can do about that. We're right. stuck with what we can still known. make your position known instead oh, yeah. of just letting it oh, go. Yeah. Like, oh, it's okay. That's what it seems like to me that you're not concerned about the economics of, of this the letter is an opportunity to, to address a lot of issues. Yeah, I mean, it's it's your opportunity to say, hey, something should be done about about that particular piece of it. And if you're going to give relinquish that, then. I think our, I think our concern over economics with this letter is that we can't see an expansion with housing mm -hmm. or commercial because if the grid is taxed, how can we even have a develop? We have two areas north and south of us that you know yeah, are prime for development that we wouldn't be able to do because the grid's full. So to me, that that's a huge economic right. You know, thing right there. That and it's like Mark says. We have factual information, even from outside of all of us here, from Green Mountain Power that says, "This is where your grid's at." You know, this is it's in the red. Mm -hmm. Like that's an easy factual thing to throw at the, the PUC and say, "Look, this is this is not feelings. This is not opinion. This is factual based." And I, I understand. I'm not that arguing work. about the point of the transmission and the substation piece of it. it I just think that if if you think that the project could be better utilize somewhere else, then that's something that you should say and not just relinquish your voice. That's what it seems like to me. It's just, okay, whatever they're going to do. And I, I, I think that if it was a zoning matter for me, and that's kind of what I look at it, you know, people should be able to do what they want to their properties within boundaries of whatever is set up now. And for us, um, if I wanted to put a development in right up on our farm there, I'd have to go through the board to the town and then you would make that conclusion as to whether or not it's feasible for the town. And right now, yes, the way it's set up is the state can, or the, any, anybody can do whatever they want. Now I'm all for people putting their own, if they're just going to use it for their own property and personal use, that's fine. They should be able to do that. They still have to go through a process um, to the state government, through the PUC even, just to put them on the solar panels. So, and in this case, the this developer, this is a huge, huge project. It's not even like the ones in Rutland where you don't even see it because it's down lower, you know, the fence is eight feet and maybe they're eight feet high. This is 18 feet high we're talking about. I mean, I, I yeah. just, I mean, would you let me do that? You, you probably <coughs> say, you're putting in the uh, industry on your rural agricultural land. You wouldn't let me do it. Well, actually, if, if I may, unfortunately, today, with the way things are going, um, if they have their way, we will no longer be the green state. We'll be the black state. Or the green mountain state will be the black mountain state because there's going to be more solar than there will be green edge. I mean, I just came from uh, Catskill, New York, where I used to live, and there is a huge, I mean hundreds of acres on Route 32 in Greenville, New York, that used to be a farm, and it's now nothing but solar. And there's no way you can miss it from the road, because there's big, they got a substation built right in the middle of the thing or a transmission station, whatever it is, you know, but I mean, it, it's the way of the future. It's what they want, you know, and it's not just with this. I was just talking with a friend of mine who owns a dispensary, and she was telling me about all the hoo-ha that she has to go through now to be compliant with the state and do what the state wants. It's going to cost her thousands of dollars in a new system and this, that, and the other thing, but unfortunately, there aren't enough dispensary owners to turn around and tell the state, hey, wait a minute, this isn't feasible for us. 
why can't we do it this way instead? It's like the state is basically telling them, this is a system that you have to buy. Excuse me. And sorry. This is the it's way it has to be done. I appreciate that. It's a little off topic. So we're just going to, well, sorry. I'm we're going to. about state regulation. No, I know, but we're going to stick with the, the PUC letter. Does anybody else want to add anything to the letter? What, what I would, what I would add, request the <coughs> board to readdress this letter by mm -hmm. including as much as they possibly can mm -hmm. as to what's been discussed and agreed upon in the last few meetings, which would include. The loss of school tax profit, the loss of I mean, uh, income, yep. the, lo the loss of the aesthetics, and so on, if it's possible. Thoughts? So we can get this letter out. Does anyone want to add anything? I mean, I have no objection to have made yeah, mention I mean, of it. What's that? I'm sorry. I said I don't have any objection to like making br mention of yeah. some of these. You know. But I think this is our concern, but yeah. this one you say that's fact. Sorry, go ahead. <coughs> yeah, I'm just concerned if we start I mean, every, you know, I think everybody will agree that they should be paying school taxes on this thing. I mean my property my property that doesn't have any buildings on it, I have to pay a higher tax rate than I do on my building, which is ludicrous. Okay, yeah. But that's it's the way it is. I just worried if we get too far out in the weeds on this, they're going to say, ah, well, and just chuck it. I mean, we've got facts here. You know, it's mm -hmm. a legitimate concern. It certainly should keep us at the table. Right. As far as the discussion goes. I'm worried if we put four or five of these other things in there, because like Mark said, they don't care about Eggland. I don't care what they say. I know for a fact the state doesn't care about it. Uh, so that's a moot point because the way they look at it, it's better off with solar panels on it than it is with somebody farming it. And I've been told that but by I, them. But so putting this on, on, on in the by putting these points into the letter, though, you've you've addressed things that might be you make a position, and you, those things are in there and have been discussed have been have been discussed, and whether they care about it or not. It's in there, and when the PUC looks at this, they'll say, "Yes, they they addressed this, but and they thought, and this is these are their thoughts." And but but, but when I'm okay, so you know, when I when I was teaching, the kids used to call it the the bulls the, the bullseye method. When you're answering a question, you write down everything you possibly think about that topic, and maybe you just hit the right answer for the answer that it was actually one, one the question. One goes in the center. <laughs> yeah. No, I I get that, but I'm just worried. This isn't the place for that discussion. That's a different discussion. These other issues, the school tax issue, the ag issue, these other things, I'm just worried that this letter is not the place to have that discussion. And they're going to just that. Ah, you know, these people are complainers or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've sure. got a major legitimate point here to bring to them very very Close. that one pellet dead center <coughs> yeah. you know versus your shotgun approach where you're hitting all over the place i you know i just hate to go out in and i hate to say into the weeds mm. but go out too much further yeah. you know this they can look at yeah that's a concern so maybe we need to think about this versus 10 different things and yeah and they you know because there's too much in there they overlook the main concern that's my concern. This is a state created issue. Yeah. Right. It, it is. is. And it needs to be solved by our state reps because they're the ones that put this law in place and they need to have their finger pointed at them. Yep. I do think we have to stick with what we can to get their attention because we have a limited mm -hmm. thing with this PUC board. Right. And I think that, that has teeth. Mm -hmm. So I, it's I think real. one thing you brought up a good point with if you have to do something locally, that there's zoning and everything else. And I think when the folks that well, on this land were here, I, they mentioned it too, and I said, well, the PUC is like your 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 zoning board of appeal. You know, that's <coughs> where the landowners bring their complaints, and it's looked at you know, in that type that there's a board, and they make the decision. And mm -hmm. I think the more that the folks that are directly affected by it as neighbors really need to you know, do the letters exactly like you're saying, like what, what are your guys' biggest concerns? And I know like when we got the first letter back from the PUC, their suggestion was that the, I think there's four landowners that filed to do this together. Right. So I, I think what what the residents around there have to say, they should file their letter too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let, let the town stick to 
like this this factual stuff that really like Mark said I think it has teeth mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay needless to say I would disagree <clears throat> because I believe that the PUC is you know is and this particular development is your only opportunity to talk about the issues uh, that pertain to this specific de development. Now, I know you have bigger issues to think about, and this is, and yours is a very good one. But once you, once you put the letter in, any other things that you want to talk about, like the money issue, there, it sounds like you don't care about them. So, I mean, I totally agree. You, you need to focus on that big issue. Mm -hmm. but you say also, of concern is the lack of economic. Um, uh, cash coming into the town of Middlebury or, or in fact you're losing money mm -hmm. so I think that you should make your big point but then mention that those some of the other pieces and in fact didn't at the, at the planning commission meeting didn't somebody ask for that particular dollars and cents figure from them yeah, they didn't answer. And they didn't answer. They haven't answered. That question's been asked numerous times, though, and they won't answer because. And, and they that's won't. something that you know could be in the letter. We've asked him about the impact of mm -hmm. the development on the economics of the town, and we've asked him for this, and they haven't provided it. I mean, that could be a, a second. That, that point, I, I won't. You know, that's a legitimate point too. The fact that they mm -hmm. won't give they us the information care. we're asking for. Yeah. Yeah. That's a legitimate point. Mm -hmm. Maybe that could be put I just, But again, I hate to go too far out. You right. Know, but again, that, that, that's, that's, that's another cold hard fact. We asked for the economic mm -hmm. whatever, and they have not given it to us. That's, that's factual, as far as I know. And I think we so, all encourage anyone that has a concern or a comment to put that in writing, as I'm sure you already have. Yes, sir. Um, that, that's important for you to do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, we've already addressed a lot of those issues. We've addressed the transmission issue in our letters, too, but uh, I think coming from the town, it has more impact, and it's almost like, I don't know what the next topic will <coughs> provide us with with regard to solar siding mm -hmm. language, right. but I mean, that, that, that may ease some of my mind for somebody who's looking to come into Pittsford in the future. At least mm -hmm. they won't have to go through what we've been going through. Yep. Well, I, I think you also have to remember that there's a lot of people in town that have solar that order them to, you know, and I do at three. I think so. I think so. <laughs> but and it's, you know, but it's, it's private property to me, and I believe in private yeah. property rights, and that's the way it goes. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we accept this letter as written okay. to be submitted to PUC. I have a second. I'll second it. Further discussion, would we, I know the motion is as written, but do we want to add the tax ramification piece in there? What are we thinking? What, what harm would it do? It wouldn't, it's not another, it's another factual, you know. It might be your only opportunity. I mean, a small paragraph, I mean, maybe they look at it, maybe they won't. It's not yeah, in there, it not it two items, which yeah. isn't outright. No. I mean, yeah. right. If you start getting three, four, or five items, well, then they all just right. Yeah. They're probably not even gonna read it. <laughs> so maybe uh, a yeah. small paragraph, just just mentioning. a small. I don't have a problem with there being the small paragraph about. I don't either. The fact that you know we have asked, we've what asked, the economic ramifications are and on the town. No, and they no have response to give us that information. I'm, yeah. I'm withdrawing my motion. Then. Okay. <laughs> Would you no, like I to? Just, I, I had a specific. So yeah. okay. Yeah. Would you like to restate it or let someone nope. else make the motion? I'm out. So, uh, are you looking <laughs> at this being based m solely on like the the loss of education tax? I know. Are we addressing that specifically, or the fact that Next Era was also just very cagey about giving us an answer? It's or yeah. both. Do you think they're going to care? Probably are. No, <laughs> probably it'll not. Be, it'll be on record that you that you made a concern. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it needs to be <coughs> specifically education tax, no, but that, you know, something along the lines that we asked the develop the, the developer has been asked numerous times what the economic ramifications 
tax wise are for the town and they refused well, to give us a number well the town will be able to collect municipal tax on the panels right <coughs> just out of for 60 percent right it's at an value rate, right and that doesn't change that's for it. 25 right. years right but there is no education tax piece there so when they figure out the education tax whatever it would be on that property is now distributed amongst everybody else right. so we're all subsidizing right yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So, adding in a set piece about that because that also affects. Mm -hmm. it, it ties in with you know kind of the economic development or so growth can piece I or. We get a thumbs up tomorrow, and I can send it to <coughs> the PUC tomorrow. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, you you know what it is we want. So. So. All right, so I will make a motion that we <coughs> accept this letter with the addition of the tax ramifications being added. Okay. We have a second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. All right, solar siting language. Um, Mark and I are going to get together tomorrow. And discuss that. We haven't had a chance to get together. And that since. is my fault because I've been away. Well, so. then I've been really busy too, so it's not just your fault. Um, all right, personnel policy review. <coughs> so we <laughs> we're actually t talking to a neighbor town about this too. That there was actually someone we share an employee with. Okay. Uh, there was this. Um, Who do we share employee with? Well, we have two. We have Jeff. Oh, and Karen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, Jeff, yeah. That uh, eleven o'clock. There wasn't. This wasn't very well explained for part-time employees and how the benefit breakdowns were and everything. So Ann and I went through it, and I think she highlighted everything in red. There's not a lot. So the vacation leave was the big one. Um. Yeah, and how um, you know, vacation time was accrued. I think there was something else. Oh, we needed to have something in here about voting, which was, you know, we got to let our employees vote. So the things in red are proposed? Right. Correct. Right. Yeah. Um, and some of this we noticed, too, with the union contract, a new union contract that we wanted to make sure it was here, like some of the on-call, like Section 32. It's mimicking what was changed. What right. Was yep. And I think that might be it. Um... Oh, we just, we tried to sort of explain the termination process a little bit better so there wasn't any, any guessing on, I could guess screwy with five days, seven, so we wanted to make sure that was really clear that hopefully we never have to use it, but it's right on the, it's like the third to last page oh. for the signature page. <coughs> yep. And then, oh. um. Okay, right here. And we added the appendix of benefits, so we wanted to break that down really well so that everybody knew the same thing with full-time versus part-time and um, what the benefits were, because that was something we, I think, agreed that would change. You know, we could change that benefits page right at the end yep. um, annually to reflect what changes were. So that's really it. It was more of just sort of clarifying the part-time versus full-time and what the benefits were. Oh, and we did the, um, for the clothing allowance. Oh, it was right. done in the unit contract just to get that in there. Do you need a motion on this? Yeah, and then we're going to get it out to everyone. So, what should we do for you? A uh, motion to accept. The changes and amendments to the personnel policy as submitted. Do we have a second? Well, uh, I'll second it as long as we have discussion. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, <coughs> section 21. You got a typo. You might want to put regular full time instead of regular fill time employees. <laughs> <laughs> we like fill better. Oh, we don't like fill? Okay, well, I just. <laughs> You know. Good catch. <laughs> Where was that, Dave? <laughs> uh, section 21, vacation leave. It's We got a paragraph and then that next sentence. It says regular fill time. Well, it's good to have an English sure. teacher on the board. I don't know. No, 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 that stuff. Or is it diesel? Or is it diesel? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Super. We're super on this. 
Okay, that's an easy correction. Yeah, that was the only thing. All right. I saw. Anything else? Any other discussion on that? Look like that by Ann. She's my reviewer. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? All right. Um, okay. Fire department truck engine estimate. <coughs> So Bill came to me with um, some issues with one of our trucks and he had, I, that he'd come and talk about it. So <clears throat> I'm going to let him give you all the specifics because he's going to relay it better than I will. All right. Okay, it's a 2004 rescue truck. It houses all our rescue equipment and safety equipment. Um, motor's gone in it. We tried to put an EGR valve or kit on it, cooling kit, um, but it had already, the engine had already been damaged. And talking to a few people, these 6.0s, which are in that, are, are noted for that. And um, so I called the Central Moth Truck, Mike Nordmeyer, he does all our work for us. He gave me an estimate. I called G Stone Motors, they never got back to me. First words out of the guy's mouth was the truck's 20 years old and I don't know if we we're even going to want to work on it. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How about that service? Yeah. 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 Anyways, um, Mike. Different division. It doesn't done, matter. It doesn't matter what division. They've done a few of these down at Central Vermont. <coughs> um, he's recommending they put a Jasper engine in there, um, hmm. which comes with a two year warranty. It has everything on the motor, all the updates. Um, the only thing it doesn't include is the flywheel, starter alternator, and wire and iron and water pump. So, um, so it will reuse the old ones? Yes. Oh. And uh, the estimate is 19000 Our thought is that the truck isn't worth anything without doing it. <laughs> And it's been a good truck. They just went through, he went through the truck while he was doing this estimate, and the rest of the truck is solid. Mm. We're recommending that, you know, we put a motor in it. We could, we'll get probably at least another 10 years or so out of it. So. Because that's got a little mileage to it, I thought. Yeah, it's got 20,000 on it. 20,000. Yes. Mm. But your comment was on the hour meter. They, they yeah. do take the hour meter and times <laughs> it by 60, and the truck is has equivalent to 98,000 on it. Oh. Because when it leaves the Six station, it's, it's running. Oh, so right. Barely broke in yeah. for a diesel, but yeah. it is a 6 oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's a 6 yeah. it's, uh, it's running when it, when it leaves the station, it runs. It stays. It doesn't right. stop, then it comes back. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. hmm. You know, I, I know probably ballpark figure for new chassis you're probably looking at over 60 grand anyways so what is it an f450 550 yeah 80 90,000 it's been a good truck so it really has we yeah. think it's worth fixing so no rust no yeah. no no problem. puts aluminum body on that one yeah yeah but frame yeah. yeah, no, no frames, all, frames all good. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah Bob Foley <coughs> works on it most of the time. He said the frame was good and all that. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of warranties those Jaspers come with? Uh, two, 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 two year. year. Yeah. So is it a reman or is it a new engine? No, it's a new engine. New, new engine. Yeah. I guess we need a motion on that, that kind of money. <laughs> I'd make a motion that we go ahead and have some of my truck repair. A new engine in it for $19,090.34. We have a second? Yes, you do. Any further discussion? Unfortunately, it's cheaper than buying a new truck. Well, so right. It is. And it is a little bit of a motor. I don't know if he's still got it or not. You're going to put a gas, gas motor in it this time? No. No, no this would be, no, be, be the same, with the, same motor. That See, this, motor this engine hooks up to everything that's there, yeah. Joe, all the, all the wiring and. Mm. Yeah. 
problem is they got to pull the cab to do it. I know. I have the least the 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 one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. No joke. Any further discussion on on that? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Get out of your hair. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Thank yeah, you. but you right. too. Right. I'll see you guys. I'll call Mike tomorrow. Right. All 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 right. I don't orders. care what division it is. Mike's yeah. yeah. Mike's set up a lot of business. Left the fire department about two vehicles from yeah. the, the last pickup and the fire truck, truck came from G's Dog. So don't say much for their service. You'll have, you'll have, That's too bad. You'll, you'll have to ask the yeah, chair. Yeah, no, whenever if you. What was that? I had two questions. I didn't realize when you had asked about public comment. Yep. Because I had just walked in. I didn't know if that was anybody have anything or if that was specific to what you guys were talking about. Yeah, yeah. So if I could just ask two questions at some point in time. Uh, go ahead before we go on to the next um, item. How do I get one of those private road signs? <laughs> um, I don't know the answer to that, Dave. <laughs> we can't find any information on it. We see people with them. Yep. You know, no, so and so lane and whatnot. Do you just buy them yourself? You buy them yourself, yeah. I think, right? Really? Yeah. So I don't have, we don't have to go through anybody or get any kind of permission to buy I don't think we they have to be <laughs> we can look no. at our sign ordinance and see what it says. No, there's a way to do it. Yeah. I remember doing it ye 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 30 years ago. But I think Keith makes them too. Yeah, you have one, don't you? Yeah, I've had one for since 90s. Right. There was a, there was a, I think we just called up and asked here and I think it was handled. I think, yeah. I, in fact, I think the road foreman did it, to be honest with you. Really? Uh huh. The, the way it works, in my understanding, Joe will probably back me up. You are responsible, if it's a private road, you're responsible to pay for the first sign. If in the event somebody steals it because of 911 and all this other crap now, then we're responsible after that to, to make is that, sure. Is that new? That's like in the last 30 years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't pay for that. <laughs> That's we didn't have the day after you. I, I, the I, last I, 10 I, years, probably. I think years. that's a question for, last 10 for years. Chad. I think well, yeah. we, we just I know we have an ordinance for this because Chad and I looked this up for something not that long ago So let me look at the ordinance. There you go. Yeah, I think okay. that would be the best way to do okay. it. Okay I'll find out maybe next meeting if I want to. Or give me a call. Call him. Uh, okay <laughs> I think your number is on the website. It is. I saw website was updated. Yep. Yeah, but there's no calendar And it didn't give when your next meeting was it just gave the minutes of the last okay. handful of meetings however many so I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I honestly haven't even checked yeah, out I, I the think it does. website. You have to hit the select board thing on the. I did, and all it gave me was downloads for all your previous meetings. Mm. It didn't say what the next meeting was. It did say that it's every first and second yeah. or first and third Wednesday, right. but like before, it said next meeting blah at six. The actual date, yeah. It okay. didn't have that. I, just something I happen to notice. Yeah. I also couldn't find a time there either. Okay. Okay, we need to check that. Still have this letter. Yeah. All right, that's good to know. <laughs> that's fair. And the other question that I had, what's the story with Pittsford first response? They, they don't, as far as I know, they don't transport, but they're an EMS agency and they have an ambulance. Why don't they transport? They're not licensed to transport. You have to be licensed to transport. And what would it take to get them licensed? It's more staff. More staff, and they, they can't even handle the calls they have now. Staff <coughs> transporters is affecting everybody. Mm. There are calls that go unanswered, and you wait for regional to get here. If you don't have people to answer it. No, I know, because with the way things are going, you know, there's going to be a lot more need. I heard the other day, Brandon got banged out for, I believe, an ATV accident in West Rutland. Mm -hmm. Nobody over. else was available. Yep. And a couple of years ago, where I used to live, 85 year old woman suffered for an hour and a half and died because there was no ambulance available because of a triple OD mm -hmm. at 11 15 at night. And that triple OD took every medic in the county. And no other county had anybody available. Yeah. So, with the way things are going, 
it might be something I mean if it's a staffing issue what's the possibility of just making it a regional satellite office they have the staffing they don't have the staffing that's the problem regional we have Fairhaven comes in, covers the regional. Uh, Brandon, Wallingford. Brandon comes in, <coughs> Wallingford. Uh, I heard the other day I, it was one way down south was up in in Maryland. It, it's people don't realize what's going on with staffing. It's a Fairhaven's huge even problem. Come to Brandon, so exactly. it's not like Middlebury has come to Rutland before mm -hmm. on a call. Yeah, I yeah. mean that's getting pretty bad. Yeah, it is. And I mean, when you constantly hear about ODs going up, this going up, that going That's up. That's a huge problem. You know? Mm. At least fire can get out, but hey, from what I gather, Not just always. about all the DPW guys are on the fire department. Look at Brandon, they're down to what? Less than 20 members? Yeah. So I, uh, at least we have EMTs. Yeah. I know when COVID had a lot of people just gave up on it because of all of yeah, the. All of everything. I mean, at the. Well, you had to wear for protection and walking yeah. into those situations. All the all the yeah, yeah. I know that, <coughs> that Brandon suffered a lot with that one. I remember that. Mm -hmm. so. are, they, are they ALS or only BLS? BLS. Wow, so they too have to wait on regional. So, yeah. Well, if they need a medic. <coughs> yeah, yeah, medic real science. Unless they're lucky to have an outside medic working for Brandon. I mean, now you'll hear fire departments being banged out to uh, for codes now. You never used to hear that before. Or Wallingford is famous for calling the fire department for drivers. Yeah. They don't have a driver. They might have a person that will be in the back but don't have a driver. Yes. So. Well, most police departments are carrying more first aid type stuff now too because usually they're the first responders. So, well, you know, it's, it's just been it's like that for the longest time as far as I've known, at least in New York. Every police officer has a trauma bag. Every firefighter is a certified first responder. They're running EMS just like it's you know, it's anybody else. It's not enough people that want to do it anymore. Nope. Mm. It's a lot of time. Oh yeah. Been there, done that. It's a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, I've been there, done that too. How much is it, Tom, to do that? It's got to be a fair amount. Oh God. To be qualified yeah, and trained? Yeah, I mean, for oh, well, it's close to 200 hours now. Yeah, because it's a minimum EMT no, I, now. There's no I, I said 20 there's years no ago, I predicted EMR. the state of Vermont was going to train us <laughs> out of business. Oh, there's and yeah. that's just what they're doing. Yeah. They're training oh, us yeah, out yeah. of business. Right? So, I mean, the, the cost of doing that is... When I, when I joined the fire department 55 years ago, it was a 45-hour course, which was a basic course. <laughs> you don't need 190 hours to do a basic thing. You do... For, you can take it in blocks. Right. right. That's exactly and what I put yeah. 45 hours. <clears throat> yeah, 45 hour yeah. course and you, you knew the basics enough to keep yourself you out of trouble. Yeah. And if you need to be certified with SCBA, that's another course. You got certified as you as you went and you did it gradually. Yeah. But now they want you to do the whole thing, boom. And young people say, heck with you, I'm not, I don't, I got a family, I can't. Right, right. I don't have that much time. No, it's crazy. It's not even just young So I said they were going to train us out of business here. and that's just what's happening. Yeah. Well, both EMS, like I said, fire department, oh, yeah. we seem to have a lot of those. We have a lot of state problems. Yep. Also, at the same time, though, do either have any kind of open house? Because I know, like, with the fire department, usually yeah. once a year, there's a we like, had one statewide, a statewide in May. open yeah, house. In May. Like, you know how many people showed up at ours? Zero. But how many knew about hours. it? It was well publicized. Yeah. I didn't yeah, see a lick of it. It was I knew statewide. nothing about it. It was statewide. It was in the papers. It was on well. TV. I know the state drive, but often enough, like local departments will have a banner or something outside. I never saw anything around. Then it was on Facebook. I'm not on yeah. Facebook. It was in. Com it was there was a poster. <laughs> yes, yeah, there was a poster in Comodos. Poster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All so right. Yeah. Let's. Uh, um, this is a guy to get information from. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, local option tax. So I know Butch had brought this up at the last meeting that yep. there could be a possibility of it going to a vote for town. Um, I think this could help us with what I was talking about earlier with looking for funding for our water and sewer. Yep. Um, we're the only town in the area that really doesn't do it on Route 7 right now. Mm -hmm. It does collect money from folks driving through town, spending money. Um, it, it comes back into Pittsford, you know, it's it's not it's it's money that the town can use, and right. this is a sample one from when I was part of this process before. 
Um, obviously, our attorney would have to draft something, but it would look similar to, look to this. And you know, making it simple enough where it just covers capital projects. So it would only go into like, you know, highway or equipment or sidewalks or water and sewer, but mm -hmm. not payroll or right. things like that where, you know, nobody likes another tax, but this is money that really, I think, could help the town with what we have going on in the next few years too, you know, just a little bit. Um, and just keep, you know, do, treat it like ARPA, get it and spend it and, and keep giving it back to the town where um, it's good for match money for grants on stuff that we could do. So I, I just want to throw it out there and it kind of shows sort of the process. Um, you know, the, the board would either have to approve it to go on ballot or 5% of the, you know, the registered voters like anything else could also petition to do the same thing. Oh. Um, so just wanted to throw that in front of you guys again. Downside, I think a lot of the money is going to come from local instead of people going through. So it's it's one percent. Um, what is it on specifically? It's on city tax right? Well, it's rooms and meals. Yeah. Yeah, your retail, um, alcohol and tobacco. So, so and, we and might, we might get so some through traffic from right. So people stop in, you know, at Sunoco and Mobile. You're paying for it when you go to Rutland, you're paying for it when you go to Brandon, you're paying for it in Middlebury. Um, you know, it's, and they're using it. And, you know, yeah. I know. Who, who is going to uh, run this show? Or the state does. The state does it. So they send us a check. So let, let's ask so them, how much does the state the keep? No, they, they do keep a part because they're the ones that do all the accounting for it. It's like, a third of the penny. Yeah, so thirty three percent? Yeah. But that when we sell you a two before, we're gonna have to charge you that tax, right? Yep. Yes. We've gotta keep them keep that in a special account. So it's gonna make a lot of extra book work for anybody that's providing this is this is on products, not services. Correct. So anybody that's Providing or making a product is going to be eligible to to collect this and no. Well, you would collect like it at the sale, back. and then the state sends it to the back to the town. Instead of collecting six percent, you collect, collect seven. seven. And it will apply to everything that the sales tax. It goes right hand fits. It's the same glove that yeah. fits yep. the sales tax. Yeah. Same glove. And then they do though. You know, they take the gross receipts from all the businesses that you wouldn't. Have, and that's how they figure it out. Taxes to, you know, to your state tax. Yeah, yep. that's where they yep. see it. And then the, it's quarterly. <coughs> they send a check to the town quarterly. But they want it monthly. I don't know how they'd want oh, it. Yeah. It's however they, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. That doesn't change anything. There's no extra reporting on it. It yeah. just comes no, out of what you do now. Some people are exempt from paying sales tax. Would that? Be, be the same on this. They're still the exempt. Yeah, be they still exempt. Still so be the exempt. Same ex ex exemptions would apply right. to this. Yep. Okay. So if you're collecting six, you're collecting seven. Right. Yep. How much of a, of a hassle it's going to make for people to process this? I don't know. I mean, when when that was part of it before, there was some concern by one or two folks. And after that, it just disappeared. Nobody said a word about it. I mean, we had one, you know, when are you guys gonna stop doing that? Well, why would you? You know, because it's buying, we're just throwing it back in the town. Right. So, this I mean, it's a good thing for infrastructure. This is on retail sales right. only. Right, right. Well, rooms and meals. Rooms and meals. And then and retail. Wholesale sales. If you're not paying tax on it, no. Yeah. I mean, there's time before March to put something on a, you know, I mean, that right. would be the time to do a vote yeah. on it. But I, I think, you know, it's worth thinking about. I, I agree. Would there be any public meetings to get input from before that? We could do, well, town meeting would be the big one, but right. yeah. Um, we could do some hearings on it, I guess, or just keep it on the... On and the I board don't meetings think there'd too. Be no opposition to it. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm opposed to it, but I'm not great. 
great advocate for creating new taxes. Right. Yeah. No. I think that, you know, the only thing with this one is, is it, it comes back, it, it stays in town. So the 1% that's paid here stays, well, 67% of it stays here. Right. So. Sounds better than hmm. sending it to Washington. Right, right. I'd be interested to know what the state collects in sales tax in Pittsburgh. We can find that out. Find yeah, that we can go out. to the Department of Taxation and they'll have the breakdowns on it. That'd be I'd good like to know, know that. that. Dave's got something. Yeah, so I clearly not in favor of any new taxes in the town of Pittsburgh. Um, some issues I have with it, uh, I live in the town of Pittsburgh. However, my address is Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Anything I buy online, I get nailed 7%. So it, it's, I don't, it's not right. Uh, I know there's other people. I'm mm -hmm. sure most everybody on my road gets nailed that same way. So, you know, if it was legitimately in each town, I guess that's one thing. Uh, I don't know how many people we have who have Pittsburgh addresses who live in another town that this is going to affect. Well, I mean, you're basing it on zip codes, so, you know, that's that's what it, that's what controls it on where the money goes from, you know, your your internet sales, your online sales. I understand that, but I don't live in Brandon just cuz my zip code is that and I don't believe there's any recourse to straighten that out unless I want to get a PO box in Pittsburgh and pay for that so again I'm not I'm just saying the, the system isn't perfect mm -hmm. okay in case people think it is um, and I guess if the entire town thinks this is a good idea then or the majority of the town I guess I could be in favor of it but if I had to just sit here and say yes we're going to impose this uh, I don't think I could do that because I think a lot of us pay enough in taxes already without adding even more to it so that's just my opinion so if I can just say something with this if we have to bond money for any of these projects that is a direct increase in property taxes if we bond for wastewater every wastewater user gets to pay that you know whatever it costs to do it mm -hmm. our you know our, our wastewater system is pretty small so mm -hmm. you know any amount of money that that's a big hit to them water is the same way you know when we do a bond it doesn't affect if you're not a water and sewer you're not paying it because yeah. it's coming out of your user fees you know anytime we're doing paving or anything I mean that's an expense that's in you know our, our, our general our budget that's Base, that's how we the town bases the tax rate every year so you're paying it no matter what you know and this is this just gives a way for it to come in through another form of sales tax versus property taxes that can be used to fund projects that would actually offset things in your regular your regular general budget right. and it does work is there any way of uh, estimating or coming up with a figure as to what would be collected through this. I mean that's what it is. Look at your sales tax. How yeah, many, for the time. Many, how many businesses have you got in in town? Mm -hmm. Every store going every store will be involved to some degree. Right. Right. We well, can look at too, on the that's state. what you're saying, right? When you yeah. when you shop yeah. online. online. So online yeah. purchases yeah. too, Joe. I know that you can look up like the alcohol tobacco and rooms and meals I haven't I've never looked at it see if you can find online sales but can certainly find those those three and those are the those are usually the big ones I, yeah. I know online's gotten bigger through the years but um I think you can get a total for sales yeah sure, yeah, yeah, but, well, yeah I, I've never looked it up so I'm sure it's there uh, it'd be a real cold day before I could get behind another tax so you I can tell you that right now so you sell a pumpkin you're gonna have to charge a <laughs> <laughs> I should eat it. Pumpkins, pumpkins well. are exempt, but the trees aren't. So, <laughs> but, do, but it doesn't really matter. Is that, is that true? How does, oh, how yeah. does that feel? Yeah. It's a vegetable, buddy. It's a vegetable. <laughs> you That's how it's you can't eat the tree. So, <laughs> so if I started eating trees, I could get a tax exempt? <laughs> you have to talk to the state. So. Oh, okay. so right. These are state problems. But what I'm, I'm going to take my position right now that I'm, I see Dave's point. I understand what they did there. Yep. I think this is just going to be taking from the local people. We don't have a big robust tourism is you know if we were sitting well, in Killington I could sit there and say maybe but it's been different I don't know we get a lot of people stopping through on seven 
I would bet the amount that's I bought see the same online all the time. From would mostly come from the people that are doing. Oh, online, time. absolutely, oh, because and that would be a direct tax on the. Yeah, you guys get my money get every it. day. It would offset Dave's online sales because hey, I shop here every day. Yeah. So. If if the voters want to vote, for it, that's fine. But I, yeah. I can't get behind this. I'm going to say it right up. No, now. that's fine. So. Um, I think that we're like we said, we have plenty of time before March, so maybe just getting some. Yeah, you know, a couple, that. you know, some yeah. numbers we'll that were asked for, and, no and we'll con numbers. we'll continue that <coughs> yeah. conversation at another time. And yeah. you know, and maybe well, I'm not saying we need to do that. Maybe we to test the waters, uh, you know, an online survey or something on our website. Yeah. Just you know, what is your opinion on this? What are the next newsletters? I was just thinking the newsletters, well, seeing how that goes out quarterly. Yeah. With a little questionnaire, right. are you in favor? And explain what it does. Yeah. A little blurb on there, so that mm -hmm. so they're informed about it. That's a good idea. I don't have a problem with any yeah. of that stuff. No. Well, right. You sit know, here and say we're going to do no. it. No, I can't. We're, we're, we're all paying it everywhere yet. else for other things. We're still in the, still the fact findings uh, portion of this. So, all right, let's move on from that for now. Um, all right, tire quotes for the grader. Oh. So. Yeah, so one of them was gold. I know, they're drastically different. Why? <laughs> so, but they're all from the same place. Yeah, I mean, like, more than. It, they're all from the same, same place. Alpha, right? yeah. There's got to be something else <coughs> yeah. in the neighborhood that sells tires. Yes. More than one quote. Or one Ray, business. Ray Bean sells tires in that one, I'm sure. Yes, they do. Yes, yeah. Uh, there's a couple more places in that one. Yeah. I can ask them to look at other ones. Things about Absolutely. This place, so I don't know. I've done stuff with them, you know, okay. they do good work and whatever, yeah, they, but it, they're pricey. I guess yeah. those current ones aren't looking so good though, huh? No, they're, they're yeah, pretty, pretty uh, worn out there. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Uh, the the cheapest uh, one was 47. Right here. That's oh, yeah. it. Nine, nine. And then it goes yeah, up from so there. Got any. I can ask Chad to shop around. I would agree with Mr. Mills. I yeah. think we have to get from at least two more before yeah. we make yep. that decision. No, nope, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. So, just so you know, the lowest quote was within my spending limit, but I figured it would be good to bring it to the select. Okay, so good very point. Very nice of you. <coughs> Fair <coughs> point. Well, we'd love to talk to the tires. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> Is online an option? Problem is getting them out. Yeah, gotta get them out. Yeah. 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 That'd be that's, great. Yeah. Nobody's gonna want the two things yeah. if they don't I sell mean, them. <laughs> they gotta sell them. To they gotta sell. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've yeah, done that with like truck tires because I can get them out in school. Or tractor tires, that kind yeah. of stuff is more of a specialty. Mm -hmm. That yeah. Oh, I'm sure you could find them online. Oh yeah. Significantly but, uh, less, but then what you gonna do with them? Yeah. Yeah. Three thousand dollars to ship them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I bought new. Uh, tires for my pickup, and uh, <coughs> they were cheaper than I could find them anywhere else, and it was free shipping. I so, buy tires yeah. online, and they too, showed so. up like two days. They were sitting in my yard. That's cool. But Mark so. brings a good point. Like, no shops don't like to put other tires on. So no, they don't. Unless you know a guy, and yeah, you, you know. gotta know a guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody okay. knows a guy. <laughs> Which, I don't <laughs> tires. Gotta find a guy. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, so we'll wait for some more quotes. Um, all right, citizen attorney complaint. Complaints, plural, I suppose. Are they the same heading or something? Yes, it's about the same topic. Um, You're taking that off of it? No, I, I'm going to, I heard it from you, so well, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Tell, us well, what, tell us what has you, come you in. You had said that you heard something yesterday, so I didn't know if you wanted to. Um... Well, I, I, I had heard that an attorney had had come in, and then I heard one had called. So I don't know a lot more than that, except for it's an issue with the, the filings. And we did have a, you copied us on a complaint from someone that wrote in. Yes. A week ago, or two weeks, it was right after our last the date, meeting. but. So yes. I, yeah, week and a half ago, I, probably. I feel if we're getting a complaint, we have to. No, abs yep, absolutely. That, so that's why I asked it for BID. <coughs> Can you fill us in a little bit on it? Because I did. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of how I want to do this without really shaming anybody. Um, well, what was the, the complaint that so, came so in the was from? The complaint, we had complaints from some residents and a few attorneys that do title searches um, that they weren't getting documents back in a proper time. 
Um, our town attorney addressed it with the clerk's office on Monday. Um, we helped make a day, a day book so that everything that was unrecorded is actually documented on a sheet now. Um, but we did receive, like, I mean, I have a file with, you know, two, two right. attorneys, one resident who was pretty fired up about it. Mm -hmm. um, but they weren't able to get title policies updated and things because documents weren't being timely recorded. So, um, what is the usual turnaround time? Does anyone know? What, what would you expect the turnaround time to be on a document filed? I, I have no idea what we usually look for. All caught up. You used to do the files. Yeah, I mean, it's different then because more of it's electronic now. Like, I know when Gary was here Monday, he did say that most towns are two weeks tops for documents two weeks. being unrecorded. How, how long was the complaint? What were they talking about? Was there a length Four of months. time they were waiting? They were months and months behind. There yeah. was stuff not sent back to attorneys from last to November. So many, many, many months behind in recording. From November? Stuff was recorded, but not sent back. Manpower. The work was half done. That's what it boils down to. The bill. Work that should have been done was only half half completed. Was <clears throat> so? Is was this? It was more than one instance. There was more than that complaint. I mean, obviously the well, attorneys so must have Well, so of course we got more phone calls because you know the clerk was on vacation for ten days, so they were calling around the building and um, yeah we I think we received probably a half dozen complaints in here I know someone came in today too looking for something and I don't know what the outcome was of that but um, so with our attorney being here he did suggest that you know we could help in-house to try to get caught up them caught up in the office and we got the day book done, so you know at least folks can come in and look at sheets to see what's there. But you know, uh, I know our town. Okay, so the clerk's office has been closed for what a month on Friday. So is this number? coming down because of that? That's come down a lot this week. It has. It has. Do, do we have any idea how many documents or how many filings were behind or is it all nine months behind or is it just are we two months behind or a month? I don't know. So June, July, it's back to the beginning of May now that's unrecorded and unindexed which is what the day book does. It shows the time, the day it came in, and who it was from, and the parties involved. As far as it being put in the land records, I think it's up to some something in April now. And and I know that the assistant clerk has been sending back tons of documents to people, so. Hmm. Do I, I don't know what that time frame is on that. Are we gonna be able to come current quick or are we going to have to hire well, someone else to help? I don't know. Well, I don't it know. seems to me if it's two week turnaround as average we, we're mm. still way behind. Then. Right. So again it's gotten better this week. That's cool. um, I mean since since our attorney had a conversation it changed drastically. So, um, okay. Isn't that why we close Fridays though so they can get caught up? Yes. That's so. She's gotten many so it just started the Friday thing, so she came in and told us that she. How was long ago did yeah, it start? I think. Well, I think Dave's right. There's July. probably been at least at least four. Well, it's July first. July first so. or whatever. Where's July? So and she's been uh, gone two July weeks. July seventh, so one, so four Fridays. So. So is is there a lot of documents in that? I don't know how many are. There are. Um, I don't know. I hand wrote June and July in the day for to help her out and 60, 70 maybe just for the two months. Thanks. So there there was an email that was sent to me from an attorney that their their title insurance company had kind of a group email go out saying, well just let everyone know Pittsburgh's behind. Ooh. 
that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. so it that's look a problem. Good. Um, I did tell Helen that this was coming up tonight, and so after you had called, yeah. and then I called you, so. Um, Is she on? So. Hmm. Okay. Do we so, need so you're, it's, it's improved this week? Significantly. Okay, so. Again, without knowing how many documents there is, um, I guess, well, I'll ask you have a better idea how many documents than I do, and you know more about this than I do. What is a reasonable time frame to get this caught up in? That I can't answer. I I've never done record. I've never oh, recorded, okay. so. Oh, okay. Um, would, would the League of City and Towns have any advice or recommendations for a problem like this? Is, or is that just not the way to go? No, I think, you know, Gary says he's just going to stay on top of it and see how things go, so. Okay. Maybe we should just give it two weeks till the next meeting to see how much it's reduced. Yeah. Before we do anything. I think we should talk to her. Have her in. Well, obviously, did Gary, was it Gary able to have a conversation? Yeah, he came in Monday and they sat down in my office, so I was present Do you think there should it. be more time, or do you think that's enough for now? Well, it's like you said, give it two weeks and see. Yeah, that seems fair. I mean, if you got yeah. title insurance companies that are... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, well, that's, that's concerning. That's concerning, yes. I mean, it's, yeah. Um, so, but... I mean, the fact that you're telling me this week improved dramatically, hopefully the next couple of weeks will too. And, you know, if we can, like you said, what, there's 70, you're guessing 70 or whatever. You know, if that gets cut in half in that amount of time, then I'd say we're going in the right direction. So Yeah, I don't know how long so it takes to do a full recording. Of right. Something yeah, I, I have no idea. So I have no idea had, you said two different things. We were... Recorded up until April. I think it's April. I'd have to look at cuts. I don't know. Helen could tell you. She's on the meeting. Um, so I think we can go by date if we need to, right? You know, if there's April filings and what's the other ones? You said up to May and then right. The unrecordeds are on the day book, which I think starts May third to today. Okay. So the is it possible that some things even go way back beyond that or I think the only concern that some of the attorneys had that had called me were that they hadn't received their documents back yet so though so they may be done just hadn't been sent back okay from April prior yeah I, I, I guess I'd have to look Tom yeah. mm. so they may have already been done that's what you're saying they may have been done, just hadn't been. Before back April, over. everything's got as it's recorded. It has a book okay. and pages and everything. I don't know if they've been, if the images have been scanned. I mean, that's the thing. I'd have to go to look at COTS. Yeah. But I mean, this is a weird thing here. You know, like we're getting these complaints, and you know, I I don't. Helen doesn't work for me, and it's you know, we've. It's a it's a weird situation that yeah. I'm in here. I think so. Um, well, I think it's important we stay on this. If we've got an issue with title insurance companies, that's a, well, yeah, that's real. Um, I think maybe we should just wait and see what progress is made mm -hmm. on. And I think the first one you said filings were at April right now, up to April, or could you check on that? We just have to check on the COT system to see what it is. All I right. Don't, I don't so know. maybe let's at least set where we are right now and see if we yeah. meet again. If we have another drastic reduction, and maybe it'll. I had a paralegal call me yesterday at like quarter of five that was telling me, and I, as you can look at COTS online, you know, you subscribe to it and you can see it. So, and it tells the good through dates and all that other stuff. So, okay. So, all right, I'm just trying to figure out a way, you know, to gauge what kind of process or what kind of progress we're making. So, I, that's uh, Helen's got to answer that for you. Yeah, I, I, that's, I can't answer that question. <coughs> that's Helen's. Mm -hmm. so well, maybe we should, maybe we should ask her. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I do think we probably should keep one. 
thing that troubles me a bit is this same problem cropped up several years ago and I don't know if it ever got completely taken care of or whether it's... I think it did, Joe, but if you stop and think, we've had a, a huge amount of property being sold too in the oh, last well, couple of sure years. Right, right. You know, it's, it's been right. unusual in the last couple of years. Maybe, I mean, uh, you can't buy a house right. in Pittsford. You know, it's been, they've been selling like crazy. They've been getting way over market price and everything. Yeah. The sales have gone That's nuts true. in this town. So that could be part of it. I don't it know. That's why I say we need to talk to her. Yeah, I, I mean, we can't sit here and assume something that we don't we have a damn right. clue what we we're talking no about. Idea what's going on. No, exactly. So I think we need well, to give her the benefit of the doubt. What's been called? Well, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And maybe right. is there a reason why we need to find that out? Uh, you know, right. you can't go off half cocked. Oh, right. and no, I know. I know. I know. Well, people are going off so. half cocked time. No, no, but this no, is you know no, that's maybe use the wrong word. Three no. months versus you gotta, two weeks from Gary. But you Gary need to in? talk to the person. You can't sit here and assume something. Right, right. We haven't talked to her. But how do we know what's well. going on? We don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. It might be. So I find out. Right. A good excuse that we're overlooking. I can't imagine. What exactly. Maybe there's been com com programs on the computer. I don't know what, what's going on. But there, maybe there's a reason. Well, I think there Let's was a out. concern before. That's why the Friday. Was approved because she yeah. came in and asked. Yeah. So I'm behind. We can't get caught up because of the people coming in. I remember sitting. No, she sits here. She came that's in. That's right, why I'm yeah. saying we need yeah. to talk to her again. And say, hey, is this enough to yep. get you back up or and going? Right. Does she need or to be able some, to go into a place where yeah. absolutely nobody can bother her? Exactly. So that's why I say or we need to talk to her. Or do we need to, to get her. some temp help to help her? Right. I mean, yeah. whatever it takes to get it. Yeah. To get it. Get it caught back up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Get back on well, track. let's. I think uh, you know it's going in the right direction. So I think yep. we so have waiting. You know, someone going to be able to talk to her, or how, how are we going to do that? Because obviously, I can. I got to go to Rutland tomorrow. All right. I can stop in and just. Yeah, I'm willing to stop in. And okay, that's fine. See what's going what's on, up? and if she need, you know, see if there's yeah. anything she needs. Yeah. yeah. Let's just revisit it next time. That sounds we'll good. Revisit it. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, anything on the orders? Uh, yep. Dave, what's this transfer to TD Bank of 7000 What is that? Why, why or what is that? Where are you getting that from, Mark? Maybe. So is this from... Um, can I see that just for a second? So I know that they deposit cash in uh, Bar Harbor, and then it gets transferred to TD Bank as a check. I'm not. That, I don't know. That would. I'd have to ask. Let me see if I can find that yeah, one. Yeah, just that on? just find Is that out. Twenty four. Pittsford to. Oh, it might be for payroll actually. That's probably for payroll. All the other payroll things right now. Was the one you asked about, yeah, Mark? What number? I'm to I asked about uh, 3095 Town of Pittsburgh, just a transfer to TD Bank of 7000 uh, I just was wondering what it was. I think it's payroll because there's, there's, there's a bunch okay, of batches no here deal. for it. So there's. Uh, so what is the EFTPS? I don't ever. Remember seeing that one before? It's Where's nine that? ten. That's okay. So payroll transfer. Oh, fair taxes. Yeah. That's your. I don't ever remember seeing that. It's your electronic tax payment for. When are you looking for at? payroll, Dave? Nine ten. Nine ten. So that's, oh. that's what, what is that it, is. Dave? It's electronic tax payment for payroll. So we have to do that. That's how it gets. Oh, started. it's like your 941s. <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Stuff. All right. So, so that they must have just changed the name of it because well, I don't know. The, the invoice number is PR 720 and 727. So those are the two weeks that it's covering. Yeah. So those are all payroll. So okay. this. Well, 
Oh, this one's payroll too. The EFTPS. Okay. I don't ever remember seeing that. Before. Yeah. So they they weren't on before, and Anne had asked that that stuff get breaking out, broken oh, okay. out because All it right. was an expense. Okay. So. so uh, oh right, because yeah, because we yeah we never used to see them like so now we got the no. Affleck and Blue Cross yeah. Blue Shield like They're it's all it broken all down now. Oh, okay. Yeah. The yeah. Thunder towing. They do um, repairs on our cruisers. That's a repair. Yep. And Wits work was on the water truck for. Ah, uh, they did brakes on that one, I believe. Water truck for the fire department? No, the, the water, water truck, truck, water for, truck the for the water, water department. department. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I saw that we re-upped an annual with Zoom for $150. We're on it right now. It's for this one. Yeah, I know, but have we looked at some of the other options? Because I zoomed in here the other day and it was awful. Well, that's um, what I'm wondering how people could hear tonight because we met, we played around with it the microphones. It was awful the other night because we lost a connection in the back. Yeah. And we were able to get you back the video by me turning the screen around. My only question is that because we use Teams now because we don't have to pay for it, and it, it is a lot better. So I don't know if there's some other options after this year's renewal. That's all I want to point out that we just don't. I don't know if it's Zoom. I think it's just the way that the room's set up with the mics. So mm -hmm. that's why we're seeing how it works tonight, and then we can listen to the meeting and see how it sounds. And mm -hmm. uh, well, and Elizabeth Sulia has offered to come in and help us right. with some tech support. And she had actually, because she was at that meeting when you were yep. via Zoom, yep. and she said honestly, like a select board member shouldn't be on an open Zoom. There should be a whole separate like connection for any one of us that are. That's and she she knows how to like set that up. I, I guess so. Well, I think if we're going to pay for the subscription, we probably should do something like yeah. that. Yeah. Because it wasn't. I just brought that up because we don't even use Zoom anymore. So in yep. business, we use Teams or something else. So just. So we've used Teams. I've used Teams with a lot of stuff with like state things, and as long as people follow the rules and like shut their mics off and there's no echo and delay, it works great. But I don't know if they do Teams. Do they do Teams for a room like this? We can look into. I it. don't know. Just yeah. uh, just a question. They use Teams. Yeah. Regional used Teams. And yes, Dave, as long as everybody shuts their mics off, right. if they don't, yeah. you get this ungodly oh, echo. I know they spent a fortune on that conference All room system, them. too. So yeah. I bet. I, th I talked to Elizabeth at the library a week ago, so yeah. let's see what I well, she seems pretty I just tech savvy. So. I just want to bring it up myself. Yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's all I've got. So what's this G and K Associates bus prop review? For fourteen, almost fifteen thousand dollars. What? It's ten twenty-seven. Ten twenty-seven. Yeah. What, what year are you on, Dave? Uh, I'm on this the short page. So I guess it's ten twenty-seven. Ah. Reappraisal. It's the it's your um, business personal pro business personal property tax. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. You just <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, one last question. How long was that rental for? For the excavator? <sighs> Almost a month. I think it was three weeks. They wait. They um let us use a roller too, steam roller too, for the sidewalk. A thousand bucks a week. Yeah. It's probably closer to a month. more questions all right no. can, if you want to send those down we can start signing those um, and then in the meantime we'll also uh, recess um, the water so, yeah <laughs> yes and uh, open up as the water and sewer Commission where we have one I'll abatement in, request I'll do this in Does everybody have a chance three? to look at no, the I abatement so we had a busted pipe and someone's bill ended up being $4,000 more than it typically is and is looking to have that abated. I would make a motion that we abate it and we charge him um, the 6 of 22, 485.56. It's his June bills 
consistently seems yep. to be a little bit more than yep. this other bill. Mm -hmm. seems how it's I'll second that motion. Okay. Second that motion. Any further discussion on that? That's All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. And I guess the one comment, I guess this is as good a time as any. <coughs> yeah. Maybe we need, whether we put something in our newsletter or online, if people are going to be leaving their houses for extended periods of time, uh, maybe they shut their water off, especially if it's in the winter. Yeah. Or, or do at least, we need to put something to make people aware of the fact that this can happen, and you're talking. Thousands Four thousand dollars worth of water in you know two days. Yeah. Two days. It's yeah. It's so. What do you do if someone uses baseboard hot water? I well, don't know. They should don't install they still a freeze warn in their house. There, there are devices that you can put in your window that will automatically, if, it, if your temperature drops below, I don't know if it's forty-eight, whatever it is, before it freezes, you can have a light in your window, or it can send a signal to your phone. Two, two arrows. That, that your your heat is out. Mm. So. Well, so that'll be, available. yeah, as we go into winter, it might be good just to do little PSAs. Yeah. We could put something on the Facebook page, the this website, the and then a year newsletter. Where it was thousands of dollars. Yeah. And I think the other one was like $11,000. What was it? Jeez. Yeah. It was, it was, it right, It doesn't Kelly? take long to run a lot of water. No, it doesn't. Main pipe is broke. Well, if you can fill your cellar with water. To well, exactly, yes. Hmm? Does it All right, well. We will adjourn oh, oh, oh. as a uh, water and sewer commission, open back up as select board meeting, and then um, if there is any other comments before we adjourn. Actually, I came here to ask some questions. Oh. Some bridges that probably should have been in the public comment. That's yeah. all right. Go okay. ahead. Yeah. Uh, I guess the first is the uh, cement bridge over out of creek on the truck group. Yep. That deck is in bad shape. <laughs> we know. We know. Uh, we know. Uh, yeah. Any plans to get it resurfaced or ground or something? Well, that's yes. mostly what our bridge fund has been. <coughs> We've been putting money in our bridge fund specifically for that bridge. So we're actually we're on the list to get that thing. Yep, I can give you guys the breakdown. Yep. I think yeah, I did it once before. So are you looking um, at months or years? It's yeah, not a, not months. No. no. So well, for part of it. So oh, when yeah. when Pike comes to do our paving, they're actually going to mill that west end where the lip is. Yeah. And and smooth that out. They'll mill it back and you know get a little little pitch the rest on it. Pretty bad too. The rest yeah. of it, so it's those it's those rubber pieces between the the, the concrete. And we're waiting. So Daniel's construction are like the bridge experts, and they're so backlogged. But we've we've talked to them this spring to come up and look at it. Cause we take the bridge reports that the state does, and that's what we you know, we're basing it on. Um, structurally, it's very sound. Yeah, structurally um, it's okay. It, it just needs <coughs> it needs a little maintenance. So, so we're we're actually waiting for him to get here. But there's really like one guy that you know that does or one company that does all this now. So they're sending their their estimator up to look at it, and then we'll go from there. So thanks for pounding this. So that's in yeah, progress. No My next one is the uh, there's supposed to be a box cover going in Whipple Hollow at some point between Ujier's farm and Amia. Not that we're aware of. I know that we there was. Huh. Okay. There's nothing there was proposed now. Was it by Hogback? We didn't do that one. It was the one. Yeah, that was the one that, that was, was millions of dollars. <coughs> yeah, we didn't right. do that. Right. So Hogback. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, they've been doing some cross culverts up there. Like we were. Well, we were going to pave up there next there this year, but I think we're going to pave. That's the south end of Whipple Hollow. Hopefully next year if we got class two pavement. We'd probably replace some cross culverts there before we pave, but nothing okay. structure and, related um, like that. Which brings me to, uh, my brother has an issue with uh, the constantly raising the grade in front of his house, new layers of asphalt. Since he's lived there, it's probably gone up you know, six, eight or more inches, and his house is close to the road. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to mill the What road is it? Whipple Hollow, if it could be milled What's his address? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, send him a Christmas card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to use the GPS to get to his house. Right. <laughs> this is, but this is on the par portion yeah. that hasn't been paved it's recently. The intersection of Markowski Road. And oh, Mahalo, okay. The next, he's the next house up. Okay. Yeah. But just if you can get. We can go look at it and see what it is. I mean, that's pretty common, you know, because a lot of. You know, roads are expensive to pave, and you know, most folks are worried about it being smooth. So shim and overlay is what happens most of the time. To do a, a mill, like we're doing one on Arch Street actually this year, because we have a short section to do, but 
you know, it gets it gets more costly. So but that is something to look at if the road's getting too high. I mean, obviously, it's Maybe probably it's starting to pitch in weird spots, yeah. too. Yeah. So um, we'll take a look at it. Okay. And my final one is uh, the reconstruction of Route 7 through Pittsford. Is that completely done engineering-wise? No. Oh, okay. No. That's close. Segment. The, reason, the reason I ask is because Brandon did a beautiful job on the roads there. But they have the manhole covers, oh, the right? The wheel that. tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any input with the state where that, that design is? Oh, yeah. Excellent point. Probably so, yeah. not, but Probably it's not. something that can be asked. Yeah. So um, I was under the impression, maybe I misunderstood <coughs> that um, the manhole covers were going to end up on the sidewalk. So if you've got cross, if you've got cross stuff for like sewer and water to get to their site, there's. I think there's three on Brandon. I mean, you could run um, right down on the middle on a on a double yellow line to be out of the wheel tracks. <laughs> you only be moving them a couple of feet and you're completely doing. Some of those were pre-existing too. They were just very far down. Yeah. So. Um, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, anyway, they get just, covered a lot. Yeah. No, that's a good. That's that's a no, very, I know that's that a is very good point. Yeah. Approach at. No. Yeah. So the milling, is it water that's going into your brother's house, or is it just yeah. getting up onto the road? Well, it runs right at his foundation. Right, I know where his house. Yeah, because he's it? out here in the roads. Yeah. yeah. Like how close <clears throat> is his house? Like. 15, 20, uh, 15 feet, 600, maybe 20 feet. Is it like? Does it just pitch towards the house? Yeah. So there'd be like no room for like a ditch line or. Oh no. Yeah. They have to pitch the road the other pitch way. Pitch the road the other mm. way and see what happens. Well, I'll take a look. We'll take a look at it. Our pictures when my grand when my father was growing up there. They came out of that house and they went down three or four steps and a bank to the road. So it's. Mm. <laughs> <Good morning. laughs> it's growing. But it's it a whole lot of pavement. It did away with that steepness of that hill, so that was necessary. But now right. it's just creeping off. I think yeah, every yeah. curb on this through this village at one point was seven inch reveal. Yeah. Now it's now it's maybe two. Some places no yeah, reveal. No kidding. Yeah. So, yeah. That's just what oh, the yeah. common practice was through the years. Like, yep. um, All right. Yeah. But but no, those are, those are good things. Things. Yeah. No. Thank no. you. Good point. Yep. We will check that out though, just to see. All right. Okay. Thank you. Have right. a good one. Thank you. See you. Coming in. All right. If we don't have anything else, I guess we'll adjourn.